Yirmiyahu, Jeremiah 8. At that time, says Yahuwah, they shall bring out at the bones of the kings of Yahudah, and at the bones of his princes, and at the bones of the priests, and at the bones of the prophets, and at the bones of the inhabitants of Yerushalayim out of their graves, and they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the host of heaven, whom they have loved and whom they have served, and after whom they have walked and whom they have sought and whom they have worshipped. They shall not be gathered nor be buried. They shall be for dung upon the face of the earth, and death shall be chosen rather than life by all the remnant of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places whither I have driven them, says Yahuwah Sevaoth. Moreover, you shall say unto them, Thus says Yahuwah, Shall they fall and not arise? Shall he turn away and not return? Why then is this people of Yerushalayim slidden back by a perpetual backsliding? They hold fast deceit, and they refuse to return. I hearkened and heard, but they spoke not aright. No man repented him of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Everyone turned to his course as the horse rushes into the battle. Yea, the stork in the heavens knows her appointed times, and the turtle, and the crane, and the swallow observe at the time of their coming. But my people know not at the judgment of Yahuwah. How do ye say, we are wise, and the Torah of Yahuwah is with us. Lo, certainly the lying pen of the scribes has made it into a lie. The wise men are ashamed, they are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of Yahuwah, and what wisdom is in them? Therefore will I give eth their women unto others, and their fields to them that shall inherit them. For every one from the least even unto the greatest is given to covetousness. From the prophet even unto the priest, every one deals falsely. For they have healed at the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation they shall be cast down, says Yahuwah. I will surely consume them, says Yahuwah. There shall be no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the tree. And the leaf shall fade, and the things that I have given them shall pass away from them. Why do we sit still? Assemble yourselves, and let us enter into the defensed cities, and let us be silent there. For Yahuwah, Eloheinu, has put us to silence, and given us water of gall to drink, because... We have sinned against Yahuwah. We looked for peace, but no good came, and for a time of health, and behold, trouble. The snorting of his horses was heard from Dan. The whole land trembled at the sound of the neighing of his strong ones, for they are come and have devoured the land, and all that is in it, the city and those that dwell therein, for behold, I will send serpents, cockatrices among you, which will not be charmed, and they shall bite you.
says Yahuwah. When I would comfort myself against sorrow, my heart is faint in me. Behold, the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people, because of them that dwell in a far country. Is not Yahuwah in Sion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images and with strange vanities? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment has taken hold on me. Is there no balm in Gilad? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? 